A Vancouver actress who helped bring down the leader of an American sex cult is speaking out. CTV's Shannon Patterson reports on the reaction to finding out the man in charge of Nexium has been given a 120-year prison sentence. Sarah Edmondson is breathing a little easier today. I woke up feeling very aware of how much more safe I feel and very proud of everything that uh, we've done. And when I say we, Team Takedown has done to put Keith behind bars. The Vancouver actress and former Nexium recruiter helped take down the group's leader, Keith Ranieri, sentenced Tuesday to 120 years in prison for sex trafficking, extortion and racketeering. I joined in 2005 thinking it was a personal and professional development program. I had many years where I learned some wonderful things, great tools, great community, and it wasn't to the very end that I'd found out what it actually is. In 2017, Edmondson went to the FBI. She wasn't the first Nexium member to try to blow the whistle on Keith Ranieri, but she had proof on her body. The collateral that I'd given, also known as blackmail, was used as a gun to my head to pressure me to do it. She was branded with the initials of Ranieri and fellow actress and Nexium member Allison Mack. Emotional abuse is hard to prove. I had a physical mark on my body that drew people's attention to say, what the hell is going on in this group? I became the face of it in that way. Others stepped forward alongside Edmondson and told New York prosecutors about Nexium and its leadership. I don't think we could ask for a better sentence. I was really hoping for life in prison. 120 years just makes it that much better. A year ago, Edmondson met with a Vancouver plastic surgeon. She just took a look at the scar and we made an appointment and she cut it off of my body. And I no longer have those initials on my body. I'm very proud of that. As for what's next for the actress who wrote a book about her decision to expose Nexium. I see myself in some sort of capacity of perhaps uh, counseling or psychotherapy with people leaving cults. Her experience gives her unique insight into cult leaders like Keith Ranieri. I was always afraid that he'd find some loophole out of it because he's good like that but today we know that justice has been served shannon patterson ctv news vancouver